In this video, we're gonna get into the last editing method in the Profile Creation Toolbar. So again, we're gonna navigate into the Profile Creation Toolbar by selecting our profile and selecting Geometry Editor. Inside of here, we're gonna go ahead and look at the Profile Grid View for our design profile. So in order to populate that window, you're gonna go over here to the Profile Grid View, you're gonna select it, and what you have in here is you have the information for all of your PVIs and any of the curves associated with those PVIs. So we have stations, elevations, grades, and profile curve lengths, K values, and curve radiuses. We can modify any of these to give us a better design profile and better mimic what we wanna have going on inside of our drawing here. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and modify some of the grades. So I'm gonna make the assumption in my profile view window that I want that design profile to be coming off the road at negative 1.5%. So I'm gonna modify this to negative 1.5. And so when I update that, you're gonna see this PVI drop because I changed the grade out from here and into this PVI. So moving on from there, I'm gonna say that I don't want my road to be at a 0.1% slope. I probably wanna have it at a minimum of 1%. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this 0.1 to 1. So I'm gonna hit enter in there. Then what I'm gonna see happening here is I'm gonna see a pretty big hump in here. So maybe, maybe one's not the best choice. Maybe I wanna go ahead and go with a 0.8%. So I'm gonna go ahead and go 0.8 and hit enter. It's getting a little closer, it's still a little high, but I'm okay with that. So I'll go ahead and leave it there. Maybe I wanna to go to a half a percent knowing that I have got a depression here and, and the drainage will work out okay. So I'll go ahead and leave it as 0.5 and move on to the next one. 2.26%, that might be a little steep. Maybe I wanna shorten it up to negative 2%. So I'll go ahead and put negative two in there and see how that affects my vertical intersection right here. And then from there, what you can see is I wanna maintain this point here tying to the end point and my surface. So I don't wanna modify my grade coming out of my second to last PVI. So if I wasn't happy with this and I wanted to modify this grade here, this 1.34, I would go ahead and modify this grade right here. So the next options that we have available to us if you wanted to change some profile curve length information, which I do, uh, 75 foot curve is a little small. I'm gonna go ahead and go with a 100 foot vertical curve and hit enter and see how that looks. That looks a little bit better. It's bringing my profile down a little bit more. Maybe you wanna even go test out and see if a 150 foot curve looks good. And so I've now placed a 150 foot curve. We're getting even closer to mimicking the existing conditions. I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at 150 foot vertical curve. 